during the past few years. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ice Chance Chen's channel. This is Echo and Nick. Today we are presenting you the exhibition hall of the 4th Western China International Trade Fair for Investment and Trade. Um, I'm here in this open, Chongqing opening up exhibition hall with Nick. And Nick, can you tell me the thing of this hall? Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Nick. Uh, as you know, Chongqing is located on the upper reaches of Yangtze River, it connects the Silk and it connects the Build and Road Initiative, uh, and it serves an important role to uh, advance the green development in the Yangtze River economic belt. And as the saying goes, a tour in Chongqing again in vision. Chongqing, although it's located in the China's inland, but in the past few years, it has become the frontier of of opening up. So why not go to check the fruits we have achieved okay let's so, go so this area is like a exhibition area for these really advanced technology and industrial achievements in Chongqing. we have multiple brands enterprises manufacturers that display in their works their products for us i think we can you know introduce them to our audience one by one and this one is the laptop, right? It's a laptop. Laptop. Yeah. Because uh, um, according to the Statist Statistics Bureau of Chongqing, that uh, in 2021, Chongqing is the biggest production base wow. for laptop. laptop. And the export value of the laptop in Chongqing ranks number one in wow. China. Wow. So they, they, they were like, we were like exporting all this laptop to the where world. European countries, um, Asian countries, like all over the world. All over the world, okay. because uh, Chongqing is. Hello, welcome back. <laughs> we sort of have some a little bit 
connecting problems now we are solved and please continue yeah uh, as just now i introduced that why we are exhibiting laptops here because Ch Chongqing is a very important city in china to manufacture laptop last year in 2021 the export value of laptop in Chongqing actually ranks number one in wow. china wow. that's why we can see that maybe maybe the laptop you buy you bought from china made in china maybe some, are, of them some of them some of them are manufactured in, in Chongqing. Chongqing. okay so these are like the one of uh, some of these really new brands and this is BOE. I think if you are really care about the electron business, the mobile phone business, you can see some information, you can get to know some information about this company because this company provides the really advanced and really high quality screen for some laptop cell phones brands. Yeah, BOE is famous in like electronics industry yeah and this is the area for a really famous hospital in Chongqing they provided some kind of a medical right now they are showing like an experiment for medical services for the tourists and um, the <laughs> The people, visitors. This is some kind of ultrasonic medical equipment. And doctors showing us the technology for us. See? Wow. So, uh, our exhibitor just told us that ultrasonic technology is very advanced in their hospital. It can she just made she just made an experiment that the ultrasonic can 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 like, do the harness uh, surgery yes for patient it can it can do some damage to the glass but it cannot harm yeah so that they can apply this technology in the surgeries in the harmless to help, surgery yeah to help solve problem of the tumor in your body yeah they can remove they can remove the tumor without doing some harm to your body. I was really surprised by that experiment because that's the first time I I see such kind of experiment for ultrasonic because before I thought ultrasonic is something that I cannot see and I cannot feel. We say it physically. Yeah, they, this hospital mostly implemented this uh, technology for um, genetic, gynecology, surgery. It's really, really hard to remember the word. You mean for, uh, for uh, women if they have, if they want to? Yeah, for some tumor. Uh, yeah, tumor yeah. surgery. Because before, uh, for the traditional surgery, if you want to remove your the tumor inside your body, you may have to cut your body. But this ultrasonic technology. Yeah, yeah I visited that hospital and I, I actually did some, you know, interview in the hospital and they show some examples for the traditional surgeries like that. Huge risk if you if you take this really traditional surgery, but instead of the traditional one, you use this ultrasonic surgery, harmless, harmless. Okay, now we are here. I think this is the, like the most incredible model to show you 
we we have this kind of carbon dioxide collection utilization, utilization and storage and storage system you know china has put in efforts on picking the carbon dioxide uh, in 2013 so the green future is what china is promoting right now for all mankind not just for china chongqing is one of them chongqing opening up for this really advanced technology you know this is how we collect the carbon dioxide and we recycle it and we how to say restore them re storage them because technology is really vital to for china to achieve the carbon neutrality in 2016 and this model just shows one of the practices that we are making efforts to push and to promote for the carbon neutrality. And you can see that um, this is just, uh, they can collect the carbon dioxide and they can, then it can be like processed, it can be processed yeah. and it can be stored. And then it can be transformed into energy. other energies. Newer energy. Yeah. You know, the newer energy recycling and the production uh, industry in China is really worldwide famous. You know, in Xinjiang, they had a really a magnificent project for the new energy recycling production. Um, if you guys want to check on that, please like our live, live stream video and visit iTunes channel. We have a live stream show that we cooperated with our youtuber friends they share experiments and they are you know truly sorry about this new energy uh, station in china xinjiang it's really magnificent and a really important project in china and chongqing is catching up with these districts so just now we saw some enterprises to promote their high technologies here. Um, they are also friendly for export. For you, for uh, they are willing to cooperate, cooperate and communicate with the enterprises all over the world to help China open wider to mm -hmm. the world. Yeah. So this is what this exhibition hope for, right? Mm -hmm. In this um, event. This event will be held from, it's kicking off actually yesterday. Yes. It was kicking off at, at yesterday and will be held from yesterday to uh, for July 24. It will last like three days. There will be, actually today, the waiting line is so long when I get here. Yeah. And I can see many, many exhibitors came from like many countries and regions in china and they came they came here just to get an opportunity to get in this really professional forum and activities and to share information to each other to looking for the opportunities to get invest in trading so this passage shows a good business environment in Chongqing for foreign investment and trade yeah so you may, you, may, you may wonder what benefits can be brought to you if you mm -hmm. do business in Chongqing as a foreign company. So yeah. here they show different aspects of Chongqing that yeah. is really friendly for foreign investment and trade. So maybe we should introduce some of these information to our audience, do you think? Of course, no problem. So uh, for Chongqing, you can see this this long picture, it shows that Chongqing is a really huge metropolis. Yeah, they are like the future blueprint of Chongqing. That one is Guangyang Island. Mm -hmm. the blueprint of Guangyang Island. And that one is the, uh, I don't know, it seems like uh, the Jiangbei district. Chongqing is not only focused on the urban development mm -hmm. to provide you a modern business environment, also it really emphasizes of the for the green development, we have Guangyang Island, yeah. 
Guangyang Ecological Island. So you can see that the development of the city is so focused for of the and the, I mean the development of the city and the development of the na of the nature protection are so greatly combined. Okay, you know, this year marks the really important year for the diplomatic relationship between China and some countries in the world, you know, like Mexico. Mexico yeah. is the owner country of this year's event yeah. here. It, this, this is the uh, 15th anniversary for China and Mexico to establish the diplomatic relationship. So later we will go to the booth of Mexico. We can yeah. see what brought, what they have brought here. Yeah, yeah. And this went, this war, that one is showing Ch Chongqing's diplomatic relationship with this international cities and sister cities. We have like, look at that. We have over 42 international cities and we have the really friendly communication cities, like 112. We have really smooth cooperation and communication in cultural and tourism, educational, technological. Um, so uh, in Chongqing, there are altogether 13 consulates from wow. different countries. Wow. I think the number is really high for the yeah. city in the western yeah. region of China. This is the mine, right? Myanmar. Myanmar, Myanmar, yeah. This is the um, opening ceremony for the consulate of Myanmar in Chongqing. European center in Chongqing. So is connected with not only the Central Asia countries, Southeastern Asia countries, but also some European countries, thanks to the China European Express Railway. Yeah, Chongqing is the beginning of this railway, right? Chongqing uh, at the start of this railway. Actually for China Europe, China Europe Railway Express, uh, for this project, Chongqing is the first city, first city in China mm -hmm. to open such kind of business railway mm -hmm. routes. Yeah. And later, China developed other routes for this project. But mm -hmm. Chongqing, is, a, Chongqing is the first one to launch such kind of business freight railway yeah. to Europe. Yeah, this is really amazing. Sea areas. We don't have a port, seaport. We have two rivers and we have multiple mountains. And geographically, it's really difficult for us to build, you know, transportation passages. Mm -hmm. But actually, Chongqing has now arrived, reached the goal to build an international transportation hub. You know, we have the water pathway, the railway pathway the sea pathway and the air pathway. So this is what made Chongqing, these are what, what made Chongqing, uh, you know, a uh, really great international inland transportation hub. And I think that's important. Yeah. Yeah. What you just said is presented here. Let's switch oh, the camera, you can wow. see. So because for opening up transportation is a, important part most because, important part. yeah as a famous chinese saying goes mm -hmm. if you want to be rich mm -hmm. build roads first yeah so these are the roads for the transportation yeah conditions that we have a uh, we have created we China. have the china europe uh -huh. railway express as i mentioned you can see that this railway express is the first china europe railway express jointly operate by two places in China. And um, the fruit, it, it has achieved great fruit in 2021. And it also, it's a really magnificent project in the construction of the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle, because this one 
is actually called Chengdu Chongqing Express, right? Yeah. It started from Chongqing and past Chengdu. And Chongqing is characteristics. Chongqing one of the Ch- Chongqing's characteristics is that it's a riverside yeah. city. Mm-hmm. It's along Yangtze River. You know, Yangtze River is the longest river in China, and yeah. it is in the Asia. world's busiest waterway in terms of the. Wow. I mean, the busiest inner waterway in terms in terms of the cargo flow. So that's that's a very good condition for us yeah. to you know, develop it, business with the world. Yeah. Actually, we. Chongqing is located in the upper reaches of the Yangtze River, and I Chongqing produced a light a video show to tell you the story about how Chongqing is important to this Yangtze River Golden Waterway, mm-hmm. produced by I Chongqing. So, if you guys want to know this information, the details about this project, you have to check on our video on I Chongqing's channel. Okay, and this one is also really important. Chongqing, Manchuria, Russia freight trains. Just now we mentioned the China, Europe railway yeah. express. Yeah. It is the Western Passage for Chongqing to mm-hmm. connect the world, and okay. this one is the East, northern, northern Passage for Chongqing okay. to connect with wow. like Russia and Mongolia and yeah. some Eastern European countries. Wow! It shortens the transport time from two months by water. To eight days, eight days in the shortest by rail. So it's really a huge advance. It's really a huge progress. Progress, yeah.、It、can reduces the cost of the logistics or so. Of course, increase the efficient、yeah. efficiency. And so these are like the、uh, the same thing under this opening up. Area to show you what we achieved in Chongqing, in our especially the industrial part, because Chongqing is an industrial city.、Mm-hmm. This one is is for the nuclear station, new nuclear power station, charging pump. I mean, they were like introducing display in their、um, pump pumps for the nuclear station. So the products or the model they is showing, they are showing here are like some kind,、uh, some name cards for Chongqing. Yeah. This is the like pump for yeah, pump. nuclear station. station. Yeah. And that one is the motorcycle. Yeah. Motorcycle. Motorcycle is really a name card for Chongqing because、yeah. Chongqing is a very Chongqing is very friendly to motorcycles.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think this one is kind of like some something that is really mul- multiple function, multiple functional motorcycle. You know, might be for the petrol polices, right? Because they have those box boxes.、Mm-hmm. You can see those, you know, officers on the road they、wow. riding this kind of bicycle, a motorcycles, and they, they, because they have something to carry with them,、yeah. and it's really useful. And Yeah, this is one of the model for the internal inter internet inter intelligent maintaining robot because build internals in Chongqing is really、uh, how to say、uh, you can see a lot of internals in Chongqing, in Chongqing because、yeah. Chongqing is a mountainous Mountain city. city. So if you want to go somewhere. And you, when you build roads, you will encounter many mountains,、yeah. which are actually obstacles for the development of the city. Then、uh, we will build tunnels, but、yeah. to maintain tunnel, it's not so easy. And to so they develop the intelligent monitor system. Yeah, Moni- monitor and、uh, alerting system. Although the name of this product is called the. Special ta- the conduct special assignments, but actually, you can see the shape. It's a it's a truck and with some equipment on the truck,、yeah. so that they can do the tasks such as cleaning and monitoring 
to maintain this tunnel, to keep this tunnel in good condition all the time, so that there will not be traffic problems, dangers for the cars or vehicles driving through this tunnel. This tunnel. Running还有一个驾驶室 不停车的一个低速运行，实际上的话，它可能就直接把车开过去之后，然后就对这个根据进行了一个清洁的同时呢，它会对这个清洁的这个灯具啊进行一个评价。就比如说清洁之前，它的那个照明亮度是多少？清
it's like it's like a、uh, 2D printing machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really surprised about how, you know, how dedicated the lines that this robot can be, can paint. Okay, another really strong power cleaning system using the、uh, driverless technology to achieve this automatically cleaning system. A、uh, uh, clean progress. This cleaning machine is really nice for human beings. Yeah, it can reduce a lot of workload of especially cleaners, in, especially in these factories and manufacturers. Okay, so I think this is what we have in this open up,、um, opening up exhibition hall to today, and I think we can head into another because we have. More to show you because we have Chongqing New Area Exhibition Hall and and West Western、Science、China、City. Chongqing Science City. They are both really important regions areas in the city. I think this this whole design of this hall is like really、um, futuristic. inspiring, futuristic and inspiring. They put those big screen there and、uh, display and all these animation videos. Look at these robots. Okay, I think I want to. Water or coke? Yeah, why not? But we don't have to pay, right? We have to pay. You can see that. You know, that, yeah. That QR code. You have this QR code and pay for it, and you can take that beverage. This is to pay for it. Yeah. Yesterday, it's not required to pay. Yeah. We're not paying. 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 We're not Yeah, intelligent vendor machine. Every year, I can see this kind of robots running through the exhibition halls in this fair, and we have also have this one. It was really cute. Also a robot. Hello. Hi. How are you? So when I say hi to to it, it will say hi back to me. <laughs> so, so this is really is. It is just a military officer. Sasin. So they have their slogan there, like create a source of scient scientific and technological innovation. So this area, they have really advanced technology research achievements, but some of them, some of them are waiting for investors to apply them into the industry.、Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they are basically showing the research achievements,、um, the technology achievements to attract investors, attract、uh, new money to get into this business, and helping the city to. Grew better. This, this, this for I think is for the uh, technological uh, agriculture business. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a machine. I just saw. Can you see? 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 我闻到有，就是不是用叶子，就像抹茶的味道。我就是闻到有那个，咱们咱们这个区域就是展示的是农农产品的，对吧？嗯，没错。OK， 是一些什么样的农产品呢？呃，那边是柑橘相关的，就是一些高科技的农农农产农农产科技，对吗？生物学习。
生物的一些成果，哦、是那个主创之大，不是主题嘛。哦，咱们这次也是以就是想吸引一些招商的目的嘛，还只是展示咱们的技术？展示为展示。哦、oh, ，OK， 谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。我们看拍一下，我们在直播。OK， 对，下午就可以。我们现在 We are， 我们现在 doing live, live streaming。我们是日报的英文媒体。Hi， so as we mentioned areas for the、uh, high technology, high technology, this kind of、uh, biological technology are applied to some. Agriculture, whether planting or cultivation of the yeah high quality agriculture products. This is too beautiful, right? You see this. This is how to say it. These are the eggs for the silk worm. This is through through the gene engineering technology. The silk worm is added to the gene engineering protein. Then the protein is added to the gene. 带就是把水母的蛋白，它它出来颜色就是这样。到这个这个结晶，哇，就这个颜色，哇，这是我们的一个技术的展示。我们这个技术可以表达水母的蛋白，我们也可以任何就是在医疗上有用的蛋白，我们都可以通过这种方式转到碱里面。说 ，jellyfish， 哇、wow, ，so this technology， 产在里面吗？不是，它就是产。so this tech technology should I understand this technology？ 孵化了是吗 ？Yeah， they use the、uh, Jellyfishes, jellyfishes in gene and inject it into the silkworm's gene and remix this kind of. Wow! So the colors from the jellyfish, can you guys understand? 太漂亮 ，so. 另外的蛋白呢？另外的另外的颜色。所以就是它就是这个丝生成出来就是这种颜色，对吗？ Wow. 再用一定的加工技术，把这个总共的蛋白提取出来，用这个样子，在医疗上， oh. 在医疗上就有很很高的一种附加值。为什么附加值呢？说像这个是我们表达的一个带有红色荧光标签的一个 f g f 就是人电表皮生长因子。比如说在烧伤、伤口愈合方面就有很好的应用。哇哦！就是比单纯的去卖产检的话，它的价值就会高很多。哇、wow. ！所以咱们其实这个不是说我们来用产丝，而是说我们是用于医疗的，最后是基本是它的一个 side side value。对对对。Wow. So this is the end of this technology application. It's for the medical use, for your skin recovery surgery. I I don't know how to translate translate this directly. So but. So when you get hurt and you have some cuts on your skin, so by this technology, when they, uh, when they have this kind of, maybe we can call it a medicine or drug to coat it in your cuts, in your wounds, and your wounds can be recovered soon, sooner than, than the traditional drug you use. This is so amazing. They abstract the color. They abstract this. This is what is extracted. Is a what kind of component? 蛋白质 ，OK， so 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 they get out of the protein from this silk worm silks, and the this kind of protein can just like Nick said, cure your skin woods, woods, yeah, in a really good way. I really marvel、wow. again. I marvel at nature, yeah, our mother nature, because、yeah. they are from. The, jellyfish. They're from jellyfish, and, and they came the through the silk worms. worms. Yeah, and I think humans can should be really grateful for the nature and for our scientists.、Mm -hmm. And this is, I think, this is the most amazing part that I've seen <laughs> today. Wow. This is Xinan University, right? Yes, yes. And then on the other side, we have a training program for the skilled workers. This this technology is is which is our this school, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm from Xinan University. You're from Xinan University. I know our school is very strong. Our school is very strong. Yeah, yeah. Then this is a training program for the skilled workers, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm from Xinan University. You're from Xinan University. I know our school is very strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this is a training program for the skilled workers, right? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I'm from Xinan University. You're from Xinan University. I know our school is very strong. Yeah, yeah, y
然后他们可以体验这个养蚕的过程，劳动教育。哦。这个材料也是那种呃生物科技的那种，是比较这个的话，有机的那种吧。这个的话，它实际上是人工饲料养蚕用的，是我们看到的这个东西。嗯，可以闻一下吗？这个档，这个是包装好的，可以闻这个。我不敢，我我害我害怕虫。然后，然后我们在我但是我又闻到味道，就让它体验劳动，然后体验就是我们的传统文化丝绸丝绸之路。哦。这里给大家做个介绍。哇哦，是 this。It's kind of like a whole system, not just produce some advanced technology to apply it, to apply in this agriculture. They also produce some lessons for the some, kids. Yeah, for the, education. Yeah, so let them know the silk worm and the industry and the history. Yeah, because silk is Chinese tradition、um, element to for. Clothes yeah. making, yeah,、It、can help them help the students to know more about Chinese history, culture. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, when the world is all talking about the industrial de development, but China still is a country with thousand years of agriculture history. You know, so how do we apply our technology to this agriculture field to im improve our process, improve our agriculture process? Pro It's really important. Thanks to the new technologies, many traditional industry in China are reborn with a new look. Yeah, and it's really amazing. And this this booth is not for attra attract attract the investor. They're just showcasing their technology here. I think、um, shows some spirit of science. Intelligent control carbon. Okay, this is what we've been talking about、um, in my live stream show, Innovation Chain. Because I've been in, in visit, visiting these places, these industrial parks, organizations, manufacturers like intelligent manufacturers like. Uh, Silex, you know, guys, remember the smart logistic system, and、uh, other fields, innovative fields in Chongqing. We call it promoting innovative chain and the industrial production chain to, you know, emerge and develop together. So I think that's their slogan and theme for cre creating a new engine. For quality development in this city. Because the technology development cannot live with the industrial de development. We could, we should always put the production, the GDP first, because we have so many people in China. We have to boost our economy to growth. And so, on the other hand, I think、uh, now China emphasizes, also emphasizes the green development and、yeah. people's well-being. So while we boost GDP and develop our economy at the same time,、yeah. we are doing more to protect the environment and to re recover the nation that are are were harmed in this way. That、um, while we can enjoy a rich life, at the same time we. Living in a beautiful planet. Yeah, and、uh, that's why we, that's why they are displaying, showcasing their technologies and research achievements here. We wanted to, you know, promote those emerging development and cooperation of this innovative technology and the production lines in Chongqing all together. Jointly, this innovative、uh, development achievements and the production, the manufacturing in Chongqing, will corroborate corroborate together, and will promote the development of this city. So this is the new Liangjiang, Chongqing Liangjiang new area. Yeah, Chongqing Liangjiang area is. 
is a state level opening up zone in China. Actually, it's the third state level opening zone in China and the first one in Western China. Yeah, so, right after Tianjin and the Shanghai, right? Yeah. Oh, Tianjin and the Shenzhen. Yeah. Yeah, Shenzhen. No, Shanghai, Shanghai and Shenzhen. And Tianjin. I'm so sorry. No. Tianjin, Tianjin, Tianjin. Tianjin. Oh, okay. I thought it Okay. All in all, uh, we want to convey that this new Liangjiang area is really important in Chongqing for opening up so that you can see that there are many also high technologies in Liangjiang new area. They have many preferential policies. This one's cool. This one is for um self ceiling pet um, self ceiling petrol robot i don't know what it is but it seems really cool i think we have some information about this robot to show you i i think i can put it in our article if you guys are interested about us man industry pillar so industries the main, uh, unlike unlike the West, Chongqing Western Science, Chongqing Science New Liangjiang area, is famous for its medicine industry and automobile industry. Just like Echo just said, um, Chang'an, inter, in the, in the, the intelligent factory of Chang'an, is located in Liangjiang New area. I think these these are like chips. Yeah. This is one of the uh, electron manufacturers in the city. Okay. Wow. So many medical equipment and medicines displaying here. They come from the new area, right? Yeah. Smart city of Chongqing. Industrial internet. Okay, this one, I think we showed this one last year in the X Smart Expo China. This is a really intelligent climate. Where you what we what what we can do in this intelligent clinic. Okay, you just put your information to this AI machine and you can get in the room without any doctor, the doctor will stay behind the computer and they will dialect your disease uh -huh. and uh, just give you medicines, what you need. Wow. Yeah. So All what, automatic. That's great. Yeah. So that uh, if there are some emergency happening to me, yeah. then I go to Finger such... <laughs> Where can I find this kind of booth so that, so that I can? We are hoping that this kind of in innovative technology will be soon applied in real life. Because oh. I haven't seen it in, on the street. Great. But it's not like we are not going to use it like forever. We eventually will apply this, I think. I'm really looking forward to this because yeah. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm kind of lazy. So, <laughs> also the drugstore and the medicine store they closed it's, after mm -hmm. night, right? Yeah, they cl closed at night, so it's really hard for people just getting in line in the hospital and lying in the up for the emergency hospital services. If we have such, such kind of booths around our neighborhood, yeah. so I think it will serve like our private. Yeah intelligent doctor yeah. <laughs> by your side of course so now we come to this international cooperation hall in this year's fourth western china international fair for investment and trade today what's the feature of this hall what the feature of this hall this this hall this is actually a pavilion this is the International Pavilion. Just now we introduced 
the opening up Chongqing, the practices and the fruits that we, as Chongqing, the Western China city, has achieved. Now we are going to the other side because for opening you you have two parties. First Chongqing, another one is the world. Mm-hmm. Right now we're arriving at the inter- the international pavilion. There are many foreign con- countries. They're here to show their products and to share their technologies so that we can better cooperate with each other. So this one is booth from Mexico, which is the owner country of this year's fair. And also we mentioned that China and Mexico established the di- di- diplomatic relationship in 50 years ago. And we have really Hello. Hello. Hola. 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 Who are you guys? Muy bien. <laughs> Un poco. Yeah. Me gusta idiomas. Te gusta hablar el español? Um, por supuesto. Hablando español um, these days. <laughs> Gracias. Uh, Nick was showing his fantastic Spanish no, no. speaking. Yeah. And uh, nice may, I ask, you. may I ask you, nice to meet you, we are reporters from I Chong Ching. Oh, yeah. Nice. And uh, can you introduce this booth for us a little bit? Thank you so much. Okay, my name is Chen Lu. My Chinese name is Chen Lu. And I, I am based in Shanghai. I have a company, an import company. And we are importing coffee chocolate. In Mexico, we have the culture of the cacao. We have a very good, thank you. We have very good cacao. It's a very old culture. Uh, it's from the Olmeca culture. It's more than 3,000 years culture that we drink it. And we eat every single day because it gives a lot of energy. So when you feel a little bit weak, you eat or drink, and then you have a lot of energy. So we have different presentations. We drink it or we eat it. For example, this one, with this one, you do the famous hot chocolate. You need one liter of milk. One liter of milk, you put this, and then you have mm-hmm. four glasses of hot, delicious chocolate. Wow, it's yes. like a condensed chocolate yeah. for you to make your own beverage, too. Yes, at home, very easy. You just boil the milk, and then you put you stir a little bit and it's done and you can have four glasses when you are very tired at working or at school or whatever you can have a glass every day and it's very good for your health and it's cinnamon flavor. a little bit of cinnamon to give it a special flavor local flavor yes and also we have for example this is nuts this is almonds and this is a uh, uh, raisin Okay. Cover of cacao is so delicious. I'm gonna give you to try also some, please. So glad. Yes, please. No, put your okay. hand like this, and I'll put it to you. Okay, please. You will see inside it's a real raisin. Is it sweet? It's a little bit sweet okay. because it's raising. Mm-hmm. It's raising covered with a cacao, mm-hmm. so it gives you a lot of energy because it's very healthy everyone can drink it it has a little bit sugar mm-hmm. but it's so delicious and gives you a lot of energy ah, do you like I it li- i like it you like it yes do you have any like fruit flavor in it it's natural very natural, natural. only only the, the grape mm-hmm. the grape when it's dry become raising yeah so yeah. it's raising covered with cacao that's really what nice. yeah yes exactly for example, when I'm very tired of working and I don't have time to buy something to eat, I just open one bag and eat of it and gives you a lot of energy. And it feels nice, feels delicious, you feel happy. <laughs> and also, we have a very important culture of coffee in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Our coffee is from a very pure and clear land. We don't use fertilizers. It's a very nice coffee. It's a specialty. And more than 80 points. So also we have this important culture of coffee in Mexico. So this is the products that I bring this time, but I have many more. Mm. Yes. So is this your first time to attend this event? Yes, it's my first time and I'm very happy. I'm very excited. What kind of opportunities do you are still searching for this year? I wish to introduce my products and to find the right distributors that would like to to introduce our products to Chongqing people. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
And we know that uh, this year we have this cross-border commerce event in this uh, fair, you know, yes. and we check on that area and we, say, we see some of these companies like you, yours, they were also seeking for opportunities yes. like you. And I'm, I'm, uh, do you want to, you know, consider to get that kind of opportunity to get on this uh, cross-border e-commerce business yes, I would in, love in to. China, especially in Chongqing? Yes, I would love to. Yes, because I think it will help for your business because these are like really great food, great yes. snacks yes. for Chongqing people. Yes. Chongqing people love sweets. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think, yes. I, I think, and, and it's, it's, it's a good snack, you know. It's, 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 you are really eat. Yeah. Because we call it, for example, in, in Mexico, the Olmeca culture, we call it the drink of the gods. Wow. Because when you really eat good cacao and it's very healthy and gives you energy to go yeah. to the world one day without you know, needing anything else. So it's I think I know why the people in Latin America they're so energetic all the time. Uh, <laughs> yes, the because they, yes, yes. And the so food much. they they've been eating, the food wise in Mexico is really awesome. I think. Thank you so much. You're welcome to come. Thank to you. Mexico thank too. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, too. Do you want some more? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm fine. I think I would like some. I really like raisins. You know, uh, in China, we have also good place for raising planting, like in Xinjiang province. But uh, the flavor, I think, is different. This is, because this is my first time to eat raisin with chocolate. Nice. <laughs> Thank you, too. Yeah. Hi. Thank you, I'm fine. And uh, I'm, I'm working for Ai Chongqing. We are official press for Chongqing. And uh, we are doing a live stream. How now? Where is, we are doing a live stream, live stream right now. A live stream in domestic and overseas. And uh, can you introduce your booth for us? Can you introduce yourself and your company for us? Of course. So I'm Fred Art. I'm the managing partner here at uh, Chongqing Asseta. We are a consulting uh, company that helps uh, Chinese businesses expand out to Latin America. Uh, we focus on Mexico, but we do other countries as well. So we do services like investment opportunities in Mexico and Latin America. We also do import and export from Latin America to China and vice versa. So we do offer those services. Uh, because we are based here in Chongqing, uh, we can help all the local companies. Uh, Chongqing is a market. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities for export and import here. And we're here to service the uh, Chinese uh, business community. Thank you. Yeah. So, is this your first time to attend this event? Yes, this is the first time I attend this event. Uh, so, I'm, I, I'm based out of Chongqing. So, I'm here with my partner, Julio. He's the CEO. So, Julio, do you want to introduce yourself? We'll do an interview on what we do here. Okay, next to me. But I think you already introduced it to somebody, right? Actually, we, uh, I wanted to do an interview after the live stream. You guys are available. Sure. Okay. Yes. Okay. In the afternoon. I think. Okay. Because the afternoon is another day. All right. Yeah. Okay. Go. Thank you. I will get back to you guys. Okay. Thanks. Can I take okay, another is, uh, blame card to contact with yeah, you? Okay. So they have lots of companies here. Some of them are based in both in Mexico and Chongqing, like this one. They're seeking opportunities in, in Chongqing, also the best region in China. Yeah. I think we can look around in this other booth, this area, because we have so many countries along this Belt and Road Initiative, yeah. including our member states like Hung Hungary, like Slova, right? Slova Slova Slovakia. Slovakia. Slovakia, okay. And. Uruguay. Uruguay. Wow. Ecuador. So they brought so many products here. No matter you are an investor or trader or just normal customers, you can all you can all visit this place. To yeah. Find what you want. Maybe we can find business opportunities. Of if course. you are a businessman 
And if you are a like ordinary visitor, I will be surprised by the diversified products that they bring here. This is from Iceland. I know this, right? This is a really famous cosmetic cosmetic brand, and it's really really good. Then you are Iceland. expert in this. <laughs> This is the, this one's from Iceland. Ah, yeah. oh. what's the what's the effect of this? Or I think they mainly use the organic technology. They, they use the organic materials to produce their products. That's the main thing for their products and their brands, right? And uh, but. They are a little bit expensive for me. I've been using it for a while, but um, it's really useful for my skin. Mm -hmm. It can fresh up. You can, um, in for your aging, uh, for a for skin to come. Anti aging, anti aging, yeah, function, kind of stuff. There's a so Iceland, in the booth of Iceland, we also provide some other products like this. Right? Uh, like this chocolate one is uh, made by Iceland, so the product is very Icelandic. Wow. Yes. I also. Uh, you try oh. this? Yes. I never tried chocolate from Iceland. I think you can have yeah. a try of like this one is coffee milk and uh, this one is like seeds almond. So I think you can try this one because this uh, sea salt. Uh, other countries didn't use the sea salt. The sea salt is from Iceland. Wow. Yes, we made from Iceland and also is put this into. Yes, it's this okay. One. So you can try. Actually, it's a little bit salty. Can and it's good. So, uh, it's really good. What's the difference from the one you taste? It's not that salty. <laughs> I prefer this one actually, because uh, I also, I always prefer the salt salty chocolate. Uh -huh. you, you just blend the flavors together. You yeah. know? And the salt can blend the sweet together and makes a multi level flavor. Also, you can try this one. It's uh, the coffee. You put coffee into the chocolate. No, strong, really strong coffee. You will like oh, this. Really? You will really like this. I'm gonna try. Yes. Mm. Okay. Another kind of energy <laughs> bar for me. <laughs> can I try this? Wow. Hmm. 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 I think I can hang out around these bushes. Well, all think, the day. <laughs> I think this is like the the most delicious coffee flavor chocolate that I ever tasted. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It's, so like it's not as sweet as I imagined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We use the bean. We, we, we are a bean to bar chocolate friend. Oh. So bean chocolate, bean to bar is really hard to make the chocolate. We wow. all use hand to make the chocolate. Wow. Yeah. The company was based in Iceland. Yes, it's based in Iceland. Uh, um, and how long have you have you been producing this product? Uh, like we um, we come from like 2016. Huh. Yes, we are a new brand. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought of. Thought of because uh, uh, I think this, this is the first time for I to come to Chongqing to join yes, this yes. event. So I wonder why you guys been chosen. To attend those events, what kind of opportunity do you guys ha had to, you know, to attend this kind of event? Um, most here. Yeah, because we embassy uh, tell us we have a event in Chongqing, and if you want to join us, we have we want to show to Chongqing about Iceland. So okay, we come here, and also we we took this friend um, last year. We come to China, and uh, we want to give. The Chinese customer like Icelandic product. It's really unique. You know, we heard about the chocolate from other countries in uh -huh, Europe, uh -huh. but I never heard of that. chocolate from Iceland. Yes. So. And I like the design. The design is really yeah, unique. Package. It's really Icelandic. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank also, you. I can tell you a really like interesting thing. Like, here's the Iceland sheep, and in the winter when we took this chocolate, Ooh. yeah, I have a dog. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like we put too many ideas to, into the product, package, into the package yeah. design. Yeah. Is there also, any connection between a dog and a sheep? Is so, there the symbols of Iceland? Yeah, you know, like uh, when we, uh, I don't know how to say in English, mu yang. Yeah. When we, herding the sheep. Herding the sheep. So we put some dog to ah, that, make, the, make the team together. I get it. Yeah. So also we, in the back, it's like an envelope. It's like, yeah. It's like a Iceland mountain. Yeah. Oh, it's a, wow. It's a mountain. It has two sides to, to appreciate the picture. Uh huh. Wow. And I really like the, the letters. Oh, the letters. Yeah, the font. This, you, but, know. you know. You know, so why we call Om Nom? When we eat the chocolate, we nom 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 nom. Just sound oh. like Om Nom 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 nom. And also, yeah. and also, I think the design is really too good. Oh. Yeah, from the bottom and the characters, the figure of your design. Yes, we design like um, in people brain. We have the right side and the other side. So they took the brain to the brand logo. Yes, to the wall. It's really creative. Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you. Get back to you to do some interview with you now or a little bit later. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, when you're free, you can. We work for the press and the Chinese oh. government. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Thank you. Okay, welcome. I'll get back to you. Okay, okay. Okay, I never thought I would be so long in this Iceland booth because um, I think there are fewer answers to, for Chongqing people to get to know the country. Yeah. yeah, it's not a big country, and it's far away from us, mm -hmm. and the ge geographic condition is really extreme there, mm -hmm. just like Chongqing. And the, the living habits of these two countries are happiness. totally different. Yeah. So um, it can be a surprise for us to visit these groups. Yeah. Okay, we see the central cruise. This is the most famous cruise in the Yangtze River. Yes. Hi, guys. Do you know that we've been following each other on Twitter for a long time? Yeah. You know that? Yeah. Is that you, the editor? No, <laughs> but uh, but your I'm editor on, you, on, on Twitter is really talented. Yeah. Yeah. Who ha has been always creating interesting creative content between Chongqing and the other cities in China, especially along the Yangtze River. And uh, we have some cultural and uh, tourism content in our Central Cruise I Twitter account. And also, I Chongqing did interact with this account very often. You know, people are talking about you, talking about the Yangtze River Central Cruise all the time. Oh, all the foreigners you. that I met, they told me this is their favorite cruise in China. Yes. And uh, get, guys, you should get to know cruise. They serve the best on the Yangtze River. And uh, I think we can imagine how you will feel comfortable and uh, relaxing and chilling by taking this kind of cruise to, you know, travel along the Yangtze River. Wow, it looks really luxurious. Yeah. Yeah, you should be, because we have the most majority of uh, Americans and uh, European markets. Yeah, yeah. A lot of uh, uh, mainstream travelers from Europe and America took our cruise. So by, by taking this cruise, you can visit many places in China. So many visiting places in China. Not only in Chongqing, but yeah. also the central part of, of China. All the way down to Shanghai. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Started from Huizhou, Chongqing, you know, Shanxi, passing Hunan, Hubei, Hubei. And then all along to the east, to Shanghai. Yeah, it's really amazing. If you want to experience the cruise, especially the amazing also luxury cruise in China, mm -hmm. 
you can like choose this one. Yeah. Also, do you guys notice our live stream show about the Zheng Wan, uh, Zhengzhou Chongqing High Speed Railway? It kicked off like really recently, and uh, that's the, another way to appreciate the Yangtze River and the traveling, yeah, yeah tourism in Chongqing. Actually, if you want to have a slow paced travel, you can take a cruise. But if you are like you, yeah. Not much time in China. You can go to travel to China by high speed railway or air. Okay, what else do you want to visit in this area? I think we have our last stop. Choose one. Uh, maybe Philippines. Okay, why? Do you want to go to the sea? Because I traveled to Philippines once, like wow. uh, four years ago. And when I went there, I really feel that people out there are so hospitable. Wow. And the fruits and wine there are so nice. Mm -hmm. What look Just like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this product are from the Philippines. Yeah. And um, I think it's Philippines. Oh, the Cognos. It's also your first time to join this kind of trade fair. Is it the first time to join this kind of trade fair? Oh, it's the first time. Do you think there's any success here? Or why do you always see you come here? This one. It's okay. Thank you. Okay. So, did you buy those things? In when we were traveling in Philippines, like that coconut oil, I, coconut products. When I travel, because I do this, so when I travel to some places, the first thing I want to explore is the food there. So. Okay. <laughs> wow. Actually, I think this booth is like the most cultural booth here. They showcasing this photography mm -hmm. books and some really dedicated craftsmanship yeah yeah it's beautiful okay guys i think that's the end of our show today right Are we close well oh, okay the end of our show today, we are Ai Chongqing's channel here presenting you the fourth Western China International Fair for Investment and Trade. This is Echo and Nick. And uh, if you like our live stream, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We are today in this exhibition hall of this international cooperation and opening up, Chongqing opening up. We've been visiting this booth and vendors with our interests and uh, with our intents to tell you how Chongqing and the world is connecting right now. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are interested in more information about Chongqing opening up and international trade and investment in Chongqing, feel free to subscribe us and follow us to get the latest information. Yeah. And we have a lot of articles, interviews and videos for you. Uh, in the next couple of days because of this fair is uh, holding and uh, feel free to stay tuned with us okay see you guys next time see you. in this afternoon uh, I think it's like seven o'clock London time seven o'clock in the morning London time and uh, two o'clock in the eve in the afternoon Beijing time we will do another video live stream video show in this area but in, in another exhibition hall yeah. right to show you the Chengdu Chongqing uh, economic circle construction and the uh, pillar industry the automobile industry 
in Chongqing. It's really、uh, significant for us. Stay tuned. See you.